Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are analyzing a three articles to where the first one is titled, Kathy Wood Goes Bargain Hunting, Three Stocks She Just Bought. So we're going to be going over those three stocks that she just bought into. We're also going to talk about three other stocks that you should buy before 2024 begins because they are headed towards phenomenal catalysts, which could inflate their overall share price and give you as an investor a phenomenal payday. And then last Lastly, we're going to be going over three other stocks that are going to join the leaderboards to potentially become a part of the Magnificent Seven way in the future. And then I will also be going over my personal opinions about these companies and whether or not I agree with investors such as Kathy Wood and whether or not I hold these companies in my personal portfolio. So with all of that being said, don't forget to go and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on any or all of these stocks that we're going to go over in this video. And with that being said, I say let's jump right into it. Kathy Wood has been outperforming the market in 2023, which is a relief for multiple investors considering that she has had disappointing returns over the last few years, ever since her amazing performance back in 2020. But it seems right now she is buying technology companies that have recently experienced weakness in their overall share price, and that's what we're going to be talking about right now. We're going to be talking about, for the first article, Toast, Twilio, as well as SoFi Technologies, which actually will lead us to the next article. But let's start off with toast. Currently, this company is trading for just $14.51 per share, while negative bearish analyst critics believe this company could fall to around $12 over the next 12 months, while bullish analysts believe it could surge up to $25 over the next year. Toast, if you didn't know, has recently posted disappointing financial results last month, and Kathy Wood of ARK Invest, who is the founder, CEO, and money manager of ARK Invest, recently bought this company on weakness because the lower it goes, the better buying opportunity it becomes, according to Kathy Wood. But it's not all bad news because Toast is still growing. For instance, their revenue soared by 34% over their latest quarter. But the dagger wasn't their growth, it was their future growth guidance, which is anticipated to trend lower as we go onwards, especially in regards to their transaction per outlet on its platform. And that is not a very good sign for investors. Essentially, Toast is a cloud-based and end-to-end -end technology digital platform platform that is purpose-built for the restaurant community. Essentially, Toast's platform is a one-stop shop for small business restaurants and small chains, to where once you settle up with Toast, they will essentially run your restaurant business. And this is thanks to their easy-to-learn platform, which will help you run your inventory checks, manage your takeout orders, and build out a loyalty marketing program, which is very good because through marketing, you could attract more customers. So in in essence, Kathy Wood thinks that investors' fears of Toast's future is overblown, and that's why she is buying this company on weakness, because she sees this as a prime investment opportunity. However, for me, I do not share Kathy Wood's enthusiasm for this particular stock, and I would rate it between a sell and a hold rating. So overall, let's just label this as a holding opportunity right now, because I would like them to prove themselves before I add it to my personal portfolio. But moving right along here, let's talk talk about Twilio. And if you're not familiar with what this company does, they are a cloud communications platform which enables developers to build, scale, and deploy real-time communications within software applications. This allows customers to check real-time availability of different services on an app. For instance, if you ordered a takeout delivery, you want real-time updates on how close your food is to your destination. Or perhaps you need to check the real-time availability of a beach condo that you want to rent for a tropical getaway, and that's what Twilio helps with. Twilio is a leading provider of in-app communication solutions, and they are helping more than 300,000 active developers to serve their overall customers through their apps. And that's not Twilio's apps, that would be the developer's apps. So let's take a look at what this company is giving us. Right now, they're trading for around $70 per share, while very bearish negative analysts believe this company could fall to $50 over the next 12 months, while bullish positive analysts believe it could surge up to $110. Revenue growth for this company has seemed to be decelerating for the last nine quarters in a row. 
dropping from an initial 67% top of the line increase down to just 5% according to their latest report. And that's why the share price has been falling. However, the good news for this company is that they are making some serious headway on improving their bottom line, meaning that their earnings are doing very well. Their adjusted earnings more than doubled since their last report. So despite their revenue decreasing, their earnings are actually increasing, which is very impressive. And if we compare this stock to the market, they are beating the overall stock market with a 37% gain in 2023. So this is a rather interesting company that Kathy Wood is purchasing. But again, I would like Twilio to prove themselves before I decide to add more to my portfolio. So I'm going to rate this company as a hold rating. And this leads us into talking about SoFi Technologies. But before we talk about SoFi, let's move over and talk about an electric vehicle company named Lee Auto. Lee Auto, ticker symbol LI, has been performing very well lately. And even despite other electric vehicle makers cutting down on their overall production targets and guidance and lowering their overall financial projections, Lee Auto has been shining. And Lee Auto has also been outperforming these other EV makers over in China despite high inflation and low electric vehicle demand. So Lee Auto gaining momentum is a phenomenal sign to investors that this company is making huge gains. For instance, in the third quarter, their total revenue for that quarter stood at around $4.75 billion, up 271% year over year, which is a huge increase. On top of that, their net income came in at $385.5 million, which is a huge improvement from the loss that they reported in the same quarter of the prior year. This company is also aiming to deliver between 125,000 to 128,000 vehicles in the fourth quarter. The company has already delivered approximately 81,452 vehicles in the past two months, meaning that they only need to deliver 43,548 cars this month to achieve their projection. Lee also already has more than 10,000 pre-orders for one of their new exciting vehicles, which is the Lee Mega, and I expect this number will increase as time goes on, so clearly they have solidified themselves as a huge electric vehicle player over in China. They are currently trading for $35 per share, while analysts believe on the lower end of this company is worth $35 and should maintain that share price over the next year, or very positive bullish analysts believe this company could surge up to $76. And I would give this company a buy rating, but remember, don't overexpose yourself more than a 5% initial portfolio allocation to any singular risky growth stock because then you would be taking on unnecessary risk of potential losses and you would want to be a smart investor. Speaking about smart investors, smart investors buy SoFi stock. SoFi Technologies is a fintech company or a financial technology company that essentially operates as a digital bank and they are essentially digitalizing your banking and investment experiences and so far it has been very successful. Investors have been losing faith in traditional banks and SoFi is taking advantage of this by putting forth a digital first approach, meaning that anything you could possibly think of in regards to bankings, loans, refinancing, investing is all included in their digital app. And so far this company has been very successful with their net interest income coming in at around $345 million, which equates to a 119% year over year increase, which is great news. The company is not profitable as of right now, but they are anticipated to break into profitability either during the fourth quarter of 2023 or in the first quarter of 2024. The company has also managed to expand their overall customer base by 717,000 members during the recent quarter, which is a 47% uptick from a year over year perspective. Right now, they're trading at just $7.96. Well, bearish analysts believe this company could fall to $3 per share, which I think is kind of disrespectful. But overall, many analysts actually believe this company could surge up to $15 over the next 12 months. We also have to remember that Kathy Wood has been buying this company hand over fist, buying over 200,000 shares last week and another 200,000 this week, while the company has already surged around 76% year to date in their overall share price. So clearly, if you didn't know, I personally hold this company in my portfolio and I would rate SoFi Technologies a buy rating because I think they could double in their overall share price throughout the next year. Now let's jump into Alphabet, which is the parent company of Google as well as YouTube. And there's a huge catalyst coming up for Alphabet shares 
shares, and that would be the launch of their artificial intelligence platform, which is Gemini. And this should increase Google's market share of this particular segment. Alphabet is more than just an AI company, because they offer a range of various products and services that cater to both individuals as well as businesses. Alphabet has already dominated the advertising space and the search engine space. And when we remember that they have a very impressive balance sheet, this company is a strong buying opportunity, in my personal opinion, and I have this company in my personal portfolio. If investors buy Alphabet before the launch of their Gemini platform, this could act as a phenomenal growth catalyst. And considering that they're just trading at $129 right now, while well, even the most bearish critics of this company believe this company could hold a $127 stock price over the next year, while more bullish analysts believe it could surge to $180, this is a phenomenal investment. So overall, buying this company below $150 could be a smart move before their upcoming catalyst regarding their Gemini platform. But we have three other stocks that you should also be aware of. And the first one would be AMD, which is Advanced Micro Devices. Advanced Micro Devices is about to enter the artificial intelligence semiconductor chip race against their competitor NVIDIA, and we all know how high NVIDIA shares have already surged due to the AI chip demand, and AMD is now going to steal some of this market. They've recently announced their MI300X GPU chipset, which will compete directly with NVIDIA's A100 and H100 chips, which are used to train large language models for artificial intelligence. Over the next year, AMD anticipates that they will sell up to $2 billion worth of AI chips, which should ignite their overall share price. So as AMD enters the AI race, this is going to be a phenomenal company to buy before this catalyst, which is happening right before our eyes. This company is currently trading for $119 per share, while negative analysts believe this company is worth only $60, while other analysts believe it could surge up to $200 over the next year. And I think this company is going to skyrocket in price because companies that are using artificial intelligence will be reliant on AMD. Next, let's talk about CrowdStrike, ticker symbol CRWD, which is a cybersecurity firm that is anticipated to increase in their overall share price. This company is a leading provider of cloud-based endpoint protection and threat intelligence services. Essentially, this company leverages artificial intelligence, behavioral analytics, and threat intelligence to detect and prevent breaches. And this is where I really want you to pay attention. According to the IDC, they are actually outpacing Microsoft in their respected space, which is a huge compliment to just how amazing this company's technology is. CrowdStrike's financial results in 2023 have been very impressive so far, beating analysts' expectations in both revenue and earnings, while the company is continuously growing their revenue by approximately 34% year-over-year, up to $786 million, according to the article. And we've also seen CrowdStrike's share price climb by 123% percent year to date, and they're currently trading at a high share price of $242, while negative analysts believe this company will fall to $172, and bullish positive analysts believe it could achieve a $275 share price over the next 12 months. Overall, I like this company, and I think there is a lot of upside potential left in this company, but I would put this company between a hold and buy rating. However, you should know that I do hold this company in my personal portfolio, so I would put it somewhere between buy and hold. Again, Again, fundamentally, this company is phenomenal, but their share price is just a little high, so it just depends on what you think this company could achieve and make of themselves in the future, and I think this company's future is rather bright, and considering that I am a long-term investor, I am willing to buy high and wait for the company to grow into their overall share price because of their fundamentals. Speaking about a company with strong fundamentals, let's talk about Palantir Technologies, which is a big data and analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government clients. Palantir Technology started off serving the United States defense and intelligence industries, and recently they have expanded into industries such as healthcare, energy, and finance. Palantir also won a very lucrative contract to manage England's National Healthcare Service, and they have landed a plethora of very impressive commercial and government agency contracts. Palantir Technologies is also a huge artificial intelligence stock, and as they further infiltrate in the U.S. commercial business by giving these enterprises access to amazing artificial intelligence insights in regards to big data 
analytics and informed decision making, this is phenomenal. And I think the AI demand for Palantir Technologies and the overall market is just getting started, which means this company has a lot of upside left. Currently, this company is trading at $17 per share, while analysts believe this could fall down to $5 on the bearish end and on the bullish end, some believe it could surge up to $25 over the next 12 months. Now, I have the same thought process for Palantir that I do for CrowdStrike, that currently it's trading at a rather high share price. However, I do believe the fundamentals of the company will grow into their overall share price, but it really depends on whether or not you want to hold this company for the long term. So for now, I would actually put a hold rating on this company. However, if the company drops below $15 to $13, that would be a much better buying opportunity, and then I would switch and start to buy this company. But I would love to hear what you think about Palantir and any or all of these companies. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Annihilate that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you are new. And don't forget to become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents per month because that's what keeps me here on YouTube. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one.